Now, when you're editing a document or note, you'll be able to move text from one place to another by selecting the word or group of words that you want to move and holding down and moving them to the new position. It's as simple as that. This should save you some time in trying to copy and paste in certain situations. Apple has added new drawing features in various places of their software. A place that you may not have known this was added to was email. Now when you are composing an email, you can insert a drawing. Simply hold down on any blank portion of the email and toggle over to insert drawing. Now you'll be able to insert any drawing into your emails. Finally, in iOS 11, you'll be able to move multiple apps at the same time. All you have to do is put the apps into edit mode by holding one down as usual. Then hold on to an app you'd like to move. Once it's raised, you'll now be able to add other apps to the app you're holding. You'll now be able to drop all of the apps into the page you want to move them to. We all have been pestered with those messages that pop up asking you to rate an app. Luckily, in iOS 11, Apple has added a way to turn these off. Go into Settings, scroll to iTunes and App Store, and toggle off In-App Ratings and Reviews. Now you won't receive that pop-up message again. If you have a Plus model, you'll be able to make the keyboard easier to use with one hand. When the keyboard is open, you'll be able to activate one-handed mode by holding down the emoji icon and pressing the one-handed icon. You can put it on the left side or the right side, and now you'll be able to type a lot more easily with one hand. Now in iOS 11, you can record your screen natively from a button in the control center. The button won't be there initially, but if you go into Settings, Control Center, and Customize Controls, you'll be able to add the screen recording toggle. Now you can click the toggle, and after 3 seconds, your screen will be recorded. And when you're done recording, simply click the toggle again, and the video will be saved in your photos. As usual, you can take a screenshot by pressing the home and power buttons at the same time. But now in iOS 11, you can edit your screenshot right away. You can draw on them and even choose to delete it immediately if you aren't satisfied with it. If you wanted to ask Siri a question, but didn't want to disturb the people around you, you can now type to Siri. You can turn this on by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, Siri. Toggle this on, and now when you activate Siri, you can just type. In iOS 11, Apple added a way to invert your screen's content to make it easier on your eyes when it gets dark. To turn this on, go into Settings, General, Accessibility, and Display Accommodations. From here, click Invert Colors and toggle on Smart Invert. In theory, it should invert colors unless it's some sort of media. In my testing, it works in apps such as Facebook and Twitter OK, where pictures and video keep their color, but doesn't work in YouTube or Instagram. A lot of car accidents these days are caused by drivers being on their phone while driving. Apple has added a cool feature in iOS 11 where your iPhone will automatically be put into Do Not Disturb mode when you're driving. To turn this on, go into Settings, Do Not Disturb, and scroll down until you see Do Not Disturb While Driving. You'll be able to select whether you want this feature to turn on automatically, only when it connects to your car's Bluetooth, and manually. If you go back, you can see that you can auto-reply to recent contacts, just contacts in your fa favorites, or all contacts. And you'll be able to edit the auto-replying message here. You no longer need a dedicated scanning app to scan documents using your phone. Now, when you go into Notes app and create a new note, you'll be able to click the plus icon, then Scan Documents. From here, you'll be able to scan a document and then adjust it to make sure the page is perfect. When done, your phone will isolate the page and turn the picture into a nice, clear PDF. With iOS 11, you can now save Safari web pages as PDFs. To do this, simply click the share icon on the bottom and scroll until you find the create PDF icon. Then you'll be able to see the PDF made of the page and from here you can mark it up and save it to either your phone or to iCloud. 
QR codes are still a thing, and until now, iPhone users needed dedicated QR scanning apps in order to scan QR codes. Now the camera will automatically detect and scan QR codes that appear in frame. Then, the option to go to the website that the QR code links will appear as a banner. Hopefully you found some of those new features useful. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm working on a lot of new content right now, so please click the logo down below to subscribe, and make sure to click the notification bell to stay up to date on my latest videos. Check the description for links to my social media accounts, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.